Portsmouth-based astronomer has come up with a way to ensure youngsters with sight conditions can learn more about space. The Tactile Universe project was set up by Dr Nicholas Bond, who created 3D printed images of galaxies, allowing youngsters to use their sense of touch to understand outer space. Fern Bolsch has been to meet as a one student who's benefited from the scheme. Where the light is, it's a little bit raised up and I can feel that there's more of a bulge. In the Trying to imagine the size and shape of the universe is a difficult concept for anyone. But having to visualise it when you're hard of sight can be even more complicated. As I'm a student at Toynbee School in Eastleigh, he has a visual impairment and has developed a love for astronomy. And being able to feel the universe has allowed him to pursue his ambition. I can see a little bit of colour and stuff like shapes and all space and everything but I have an interest in space and just to be able to think what it would be like to do something else if I wanted to take astronomy on as a career. It's about how precise we want to be. As has been working with Dr Nicholas Bond from Portsmouth University who himself only has limited vision. He has developed 3D printings of our galaxies so that anyone can learn about space. We make special models where we scale the light or the brightness of all the parts of the images uh, vertically from the image itself. So where the image is brighter, it'll stand out more, it'll be more tactile. Where the image is dimmer, it'll be less tactile, so a lot flatter. With your fingertips, you're basically getting the same set of information you would if you were to use your eyes to look at the picture. And in today's science lesson, Azam's been able to show his classmates. I think it's like the lesson is really good. So like it helps us like relate to Azam because he's visually impaired. It's like really cool how they've got like all the bumps on these little things, so like you can like you can show what it's like if you can't see. It. I'm beginning to feel spirals and the bright and much more dimmer stars. It's quite fun really to see how something that I would end up using if I wanted to take astronomy as a half career, how it could help the same models that I'm using could help other people who still have a lot of vision to help them with pictures and with the images that they see on telescopes. These galaxy images may only be about 20 centimetres wide, but in the grand scheme of things they're worth so much more, allowing these students here at Toynbee School to really reach for the stars. Fern Bolsch, BBC South Today, Eastleigh.